so Buddy Spiker and I were sitting and talking at Blair in, in Nashville when Buddy looked at me and said that he wished he could play the Vinyovsky like me. His Buddy was a great fiddle player. I was surprised, but I then replied that I wished I could play country like him. With this, we came up with the idea to take lessons from each other. Buddy would teach me fiddling one week, and the next week I would teach Buddy Vinyovsky. This was great fun. And we went on for quite a while. And then Buddy asked me to do a head session with Charlie Pride, who, by the way, was the only black country singer back then. Okay, what was a head session? Well, a head session was one in which there were no arrangements, no notes, only chords that were written down, which meant that you had to improvise. So I said yes, and me and my friend Lenny and Buddy were there in a studio recording with Charlie Pride, with only chords written down. Well, I had a blast. Oh yeah. So later, I was doing a live broadcast of the Country Music Awards, and the fiddler for the group which was starting the award ceremony was late. And the band leader started to get worried, and he was looking around, and he saw me, and he said, he can do it. He's pointing at me. I saw him at a Charlie Pride se session. He can tell the country part. And so I kicked off the band for a regional live TV show, you know, of the Country Music Awards. What did I do? Well, I played... Thank you. 